Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Are you ready to lift your way to a stronger, healthier body? You've come to the right place. Lift is the home barbell workout series that's gonna help you reach your goals and take your fitness to the next level. For the lift series, we are using our barbells. However, you can mimic and complete the entire workout series with a pair of dumbbells too. Barbells are a universal piece of equipment and an excellent way to get fast results due to the range of motion, allowing for precise targeting of muscles and control over the weight being lifted. Lift series is all about smart strength training with barbells that'll produce real results. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the lift series in the order that we release them. During our lift series, we'll bring you targeted barbell workouts structured to get you stronger, maximize your gains, and reduce your body fat in the shortest period possible. With lift, you'll learn essential barbell exercises designed to build strength and muscle whilst keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Together, we'll also explore proper form and technique that will keep you safe while maximizing the benefits of each exercise. It's very important to make sure you have clear space around you free from trip hazards. Also have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between sets and stay hydrated. As per all workout series on this channel, the first 10 workouts are available to everybody with access to YouTube. Workouts 11 to 24, on the other hand, are available to channel members, which can be obtained by clicking the join icon and choosing your preferred level of membership. Now get ready to feel the burn and let's get fit together with lift. Today's workout will focus on your back, biceps and abs using your barbell or using your dumbbells at home as an alternative. Your back muscles are vital for good posture and overall fitness, while your biceps help you perform everyday tasks with ease. And of course, your abs are crucial for balance, stability and that lean toned look we all want. Let's get started. This exercise is a bent over row. Start with your knees bent and the hinge of the hips, making sure that your back's remaining nice and flat. Let's lift the barbell vertically to your chest while keeping your elbows tucked in by your ribs. You can see we have an underhand grip and we're working full range of motion. So make sure you get all the way to the bottom of the exercise and then pull up steadily until you're at your sternum. Keep looking at the floor in front of you to keep your neck aligned with your back.
This is a bent over T row. Start with your knees slightly bent. Make sure that you have a hinge of your hips and that your back's remaining nice and flat. Pull the barbell up vertically, making sure that you're keeping wide elbows. So when you get to the top of the exercise, there should be a straight line from elbow to elbow. Drop the bar down vertically with ample control and make sure you exercise full range of motion. These are some barbell biceps curls. Let's start standing nice and straight, making sure your feet are parallel at shoulder width, your knees are soft and your hips are heavy underneath you. Work full range of those biceps curls and try to keep your elbow as still as you can keep it. So let's try not to rock back and forth with our elbows. The other thing to watch for is make sure there's no movement in your hips. You may have the tendency to push forward with your hips to assist. This will put some pressure on your lower back. It's also cheating. So let's make sure we're not doing that.
This exercise is a barbell biceps lift. It's a vertical lift of the barbell whilst you're keeping your elbows tucked in by your side. So let's go from that upright position with your arms extended and pull the barbell up all the way to your sternum. Let's try to avoid any back and forth motion of your torso and certainly don't assist by moving your hips. Stay nice and heavy on them. You're going to get this exercise at the peak of your biceps. This is an overhand row from that bent over position. So again, make sure you start with your knees bent. You need ample tension on your thighs. Get that hinge of the hips going, making sure that your back is remaining nice and straight. Push your butt back and hinge your hips. Your hands are no wider than shoulder width. And when you pull the bar up vertically, you're keeping those elbows tucked in by your side. The mistake people can make is that they flex their wrists when they pull this exercise up. Make sure that you keep your wrists nice and straight.
This is a combination exercise. We're starting with a bicep curl and then we're working our way into a front raise. So start with your knees nice and soft. Make sure you're heavy on your hips. Try not to allow your torso to move at all throughout either exercise. Get good range of biceps curl without moving your elbows. And then when you're in that extended position, lift straight up, rotating at your shoulders instead of your elbows and go into that underhand front raise. This is a biceps reverse curl. You can see that our hands are pretty close together. We're essentially at a parallel line or even marginally closer. You've got to keep your elbows still, but you've also got to keep them tucked in by your ribs. Keep your knees soft and keep your hips heavy underneath you. This is a great exercise for your brachialis, the lateral part of your biceps and your triceps, which is essentially the outside of your arms. You're going to feel this one in your forearm extensors as well.
This is a barbell biceps curl with a pulse at the top. You can see a full range of biceps curl and then a much shorter range of biceps curl. Before we go into our stretch position, make sure you start with your feet at shoulder width, your knees are bent, your hips are heavy and your torso is nice and still. Keep the elbows tucked in by your side and then let's work that full range of biceps curl putting that pulse at the top of it. Keep looking in front of you to keep your neck aligned with your back. This exercise is a barbell plank. Now, it's trickier than doing a plank on the floor because those round wheels underneath you are going to test your stabilizers a little bit more and they're going to test your core strength a little bit more as well. If you're finding this exercise too difficult, then lose the barbell and place your hands on the floor instead. You're looking for a straight line from your shoulders all the way to your ankle, making sure your tailbone is tucked in and look at the floor underneath you to try to keep your neck aligned with the rest of your body.
This is a barbell weighted abs tuck crunch. Start by lifting the barbell and keep your head and shoulder blades off the floor to engage your upper abs and then tuck your knees all the way to your chest or as far as it'll go before extending out 45 degrees. So your knees are straight but your legs are 45 degrees so that we can keep the pressure off your lower back and keep your lower back pinned against the floor. If you drop your legs too low you might find that you're arching your lower back so we want to try and avoid that at all cost. This exercise is a low plank on the barbell. Start with your arms wide and go into a regular plank pose and then bend those elbows and drop your weight down. Try and get your chest close to the bar and maintain your position. Your elbow flexion should be 90 degrees. Your tailbone should be tucked in and you should be looking for a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your ankle.
This is an alternate oblique tilt and we're starting with the barbell rested on the back of our neck. Make sure your knees are nice and straight. Make sure your feet are parallel. Keep them wider than shoulder width because this will help you. And let's alternate tilting to the left and tilting to the right. Get maximum range of motion, but make sure you've got ample control, particularly on the way up when you're flexing those obliques. All right, well done for completing today's lift home barbell workout and progressing through this series. If you enjoyed the workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did. We love hearing from you and hearing about your fitness journey. Don't forget to spread the love and share these workouts with your friends and family. If you're done working out today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. And of course, we look forward to bringing you another lift home barbell workout shortly. You guys take care of yourselves and each other.